What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. The Auto Shop Life, hanging out with me, Jim, JRC54. So, gotta do a quick one on uh, everything that's been going on recently. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. <laughs> Alright guys, first off, Hope you guys out there are staying healthy, staying busy, you know, doing what we can through all this craziness. I got to get a video out here, you know, just to kind of let you guys know where I'm at. You know, I got a lot of subscribers, friends, people, family asking me how I've been. You know, it, it's, it's taken some adjustment, and I'm sure it has for all of us. You know, um, let me be the first to say we'll get through this. You know, it's... Uh, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, you know, I'm not one of those guys that, you know, go home, I'm wearing tinfoil on my head and things like that. You know, I, I am a prepper, I'm, most of the time I am prepared. You know, some of the stuff, the crazy things people are doing as far as this COVID-19 goes, you know, stocking up on toilet paper and all this other stuff, most of that stuff I already stay stocked up on. So, you know, not to worry about too much like that, uh, I try to stay prepared for, for anything, any given time. You know, plus I got four girls at my house, so you know, my kids will use up a roll of toilet paper in one sitting. So, you know, things like that. But the craziness that goes on, you know, you guys better believe I, I did pick up a few extra rolls. I did pick up a few extra food. Obviously, I live in here in Illinois. We've been on a stay in place order since I think the 20th of March, you know, and it's been pretty rough here at the shop. You know, I'm an essential business. So, you know, I got to come in. The car transportation is important. I got to come in. I'm sure most of you guys, hopefully, if you're still working, you know, we're out there, you know, these, these cars, people need to get by, you know, they're not going to be able to get to the grocery store or the doctor's appointments or the pharmacy if they don't have a car that works properly. And that goes for you diesel techs that take care of the trucks and everything else. You know, being in this trade, we are essential, we are important, you know, to me, in my eyes, it's, it's, you know, probably up there in a couple of the tops there, you know, because without a car, there's no transportation, there's really nothing else after that. Doctors can't get to work to check you and all that other stuff. So, We've been working, not to say, you know, this is usually my busiest time of year. You know, I think I've said that in one of my last videos, but it's taken some adjusting here. You know, there's less people in the area. Uh, we got a train station down the ways of us. That train station is usually packed, you know, during the day. I went up there to test drive a car the other day, and there's maybe two cars. You know, out of a parking lot that probably holds hundreds of parking spots, you know, two cars. Those are people that go into the city for work and all that stuff that commute to work. But... You know, the jobs are being sold, you know, I'll get by. Like I said, going back to being, uh, you know, a prepper, you know, you prepare for this stuff. You, you want to always have a little nest egg saved up or a couple extra bucks saved up, make ends meet on those rainy days and things like that. But, you know, I believe we'll get through this. I think it's something serious, but, you know, in the same sense, I think the media and the news are scaring people, you know, making it seem like something bigger. Um, you know, there's a bigger picture here, guys. You know, it's not about, I watch the stock markets, you know, people are making money the way the stock markets are going, you know, it, it's election year, everything else. I mean, I could get into things like that, but, you know, if you guys actually did your homework, you know, the states are pretty much fighting for federal help. It, you know, it is what it is. People are out there getting sick and my condolences to their family and everything like that, but, you know, the media doesn't have to scare people. You know, I'm sure people are, some people out there are probably blowing it off like it's nothing. Other people are, you know, probably scared, terrified. And, you know, like I said, we'll get through it. You know, I've had to make some adjustments here at the shop. You guys can see here, let me turn you guys around here real quick, but I got less chairs in the waiting rooms. I took a couple chairs out of the waiting rooms. You know, normal stuff like that. Get you guys set up here again. Um, you know, I do offer my customers no contact drop off if they want. You know, they could just put their car outside, let me know what they're going to need. Um, you know, they could call me on the phone, let me know what they're going to need. I could fix their car, disinfect their car, put it back out in the parking lot. They pay over the phone, never have to come into the store, never have to come see me or anything like that. You know, us as mechanics staying safe, working on these customers' cars. You know, I've, I, I've, I've amped up that, you know, stocking up on my seat covers, my steering wheel covers, obviously my gloves, things like that your hand sanitizer, your disinfectant spray. You know, if you're able to get the, this stuff, I know there's a shortage of it. Most of the stuff I've already had, like I said, I, I, I stay on stuff like that, just normal cleaning products for the office. But, you know, I'm cleaning the office a lot more than I usually do. 
I'm cleaning these people's cars, door handles, wipe disinfecting things that I, you know, I normally don't really care about, using more gloves. You know, at, us as mechanics, we got to stay safe. You know, in touching someone's steering wheel that they're coughing and sneezing on, you know, you got to you be cautious anyways. You know, before all this, we should be wiping down steering wheels and not, you know, touching people's steering wheels or gross cars with our bare hands. And if we are, we should be wearing gloves, wash up afterwards. But as mechanics, if you guys are anything like me, you know, you probably wash your hands anyways 20, 30 times a day. You know, practice good hygiene. People shouldn't have to be reminded to wash their hands and keep, you know, don't lick other people's hands and keep their coughs and sneezes to themselves or, you know, with a tissue or their arm or cover your mouth when you cough. You know, that stuff is, me as a parent, I, I teach my kids how to do this. You know, this is stuff we should learn early in life. You know, so to me, nothing's really changed as far as that goes. Yes, I've amped it up a little bit, but I've never really wanted, you know, I've never really wanted to touch customers, personal space like that. I've never... You know, I'm the type of guy where, you know, I, my wife drinks out of my soda can and I catch myself wiping it off afterward. You know, and that's just, but, but yet I kiss her. So that's something in my life I've always been anyways, you know, steer clear of your germs, you know, keep your germs to yourself. But this is something serious, guys, you know, and I got, I had to do a video about it. It's changed everybody's life, I'm certain, I'm sure. Um, there, there is an end in sight, you know, I'm sure it's going to get better. Um, it might get a little worse before it gets better. But we'll pull through it. You know, it's, you got to prepare. It's just another crazy thing that has happened, you know, in my life. I personally didn't think I'd see something like this in my life. But you guys out there, stay safe. You know, stay home if you got a stay at home order. Try not to go out. If you've guys gotten laid off, you know, obviously get what's coming to you. Get your unemployment. Get, you know, hopefully the stimulus checks that they promised everybody or any help that the government, you know, get in there and get it while you can. You know, if you need it, get it. It's, there's no sense in losing your house for it, losing your livelihood and all that stuff. It's a rough time for everybody. Got to put a video out there for you guys. Being humble, I mean, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying busy to all my subscribers. You know, it's, uh, it's rough for me too. Uh, I'm dealing with it too. I find a lot of extra time recently, especially here at the shop on my hands. I don't really know what to do with, but it gave me time to get some of my side projects done. The Volvo, the G6, some of these project cars that I've had laying around for almost a year now. You know, we're getting done, getting things done on the Civic, and still, and still do selling jobs. You know, I'm not saying we're doing nothing here. We are. My doors are open. Customers are coming in. They're buying less work, and there's less people, but we're still selling jobs. We're getting by just fine for now. We'll see how Illinois goes, where I live, and you know all that other stuff. But I hope you guys are doing well too. Had to get a video out there, you know, share my thoughts on it. Stay safe, stay healthy, practice that social distancing and quarantine if your st state, you know, mandates it, and uh, we'll get through it. I promise, guys. But as always, like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you in the next one. Signing out.